<laughs> have you guys thought about that at all? Never. But you have the entrepreneurial spirit in you, right? So all you have to do is hustle. And then we met Jessica at Dr. Oz, and Jessica loves making crafts, I do. right? Yes. And so with a lot of artistic talents, you like to keep it for yourself. Yes, I do. But what if you shared it with the world? What That's if you put it on Etsy? And if you did that, you could make 10 to 10 thousand That is so exciting. <laughs> what do do that's artsy? I love to paint. I love to shop at Michael's and buy canvases as well as paint brushes and different paints. Um, I'm also inspired on by doing vision boards and quotes. All right. Everybody wins. A lot of money. Amazing. It's a lot of money out there. All right, now Michelle is joining us. She's got a question about side hustles. Walk her through this. I want you to do a little intervention here. All right, I got you, girl. So here are the questions you have to ask when you're starting a side hustle. First, Michelle, what are you really good at? I'm, Be honest. <laughs> I'm really good at being creative, drawing. I feel like I'm really good at fashion. Okay. Yes. Here's the next question. What do you see a need for in the marketplace? Um, I see a need for um, new, new ideas, fresh ideas. I would like to see new things. So you're looking for a void. The key here is looking for a void in the marketplace. So mm -hmm. even if it's in your community, what do you think that community needs? And how can you be that person? The last question is, I can see myself making money doing, finish the sentence. Owning my own brand. Um, I. <laughs> Come over here, it's a good idea. We're gonna be here, you stay right there. Sure. Don't run, you're gonna pay attention to this. Okay. So it's about really finding that sweet spot right. that marries all of those ideas. Well, I, what, I, what I like about what I'm hearing here mm -hmm. is that folks are getting their minds going, but you have some rules of engagement that we can use to become much more efficient. These are the, the social media tips that you want to pay attention to. So the next boss tip yep. is... Rethinking conventional financial wisdom and embracing your social media addiction. I know you're tweeting all the time, yes. you're on Instagram all the time. How many financial experts will tell you, cut out that social media addiction? Everyone. I say no. I say embrace that social media because you can make money doing it. You can find inspiration there. You could hook your company up and they'll notice. You can also find business contacts on social media. But schedule it just like you would with any other meeting. I like to schedule my social media time from 2 to 3 o'clock. That's when I'm feeling a little lethargic and I need a little pick-me-up and motivation. Yeah, that's clever because you're, you're, if you're low energy anyway, it doesn't mean that's fun that will engage you and pull you in. And then get your creative and career juices flowing. And you got one last boss tip for us. I want the people all to hear this because this is an important philosophical difference. Take it away. You want us to be an eagle. I do. And a lot of people ask me when they're thinking of their side hustles, Nicole, what if I fail? And I say, well, what if you fly? Think of yourself more as an eagle than a duck. Think of yourself as how to soar. So look at these ducks. They're cute, right? But they quack, 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 and they follow the other ducks. You want to be this. You yes. want to be an eagle. You want to soar above the rest. Majestic. Wonderfully done. I love having you on. Thank you so much. I love Smart wisdom. On. Follow it. For more of Nicole's tips, her simple 12-step plan to take charge of your career. It is called Boss. I can't say the other word. It rhymes with Twitch. <laughs> boss rhymes with Twitch, but starts with a B. Get it? You get it. Can't say it on TV, but it makes sense when you read it. It's available in stores online right now. It is brilliantly written with lots of stuff you can use. But what about the audience? They're, they're so loyal to we you. We have to hook them up, right? You know what? You're all going home with Boss Twitch with a B. We'll be right back.